Good evening. Damn good copy. Um, a little distracted at the moment. I was going to uh, start off with a little tail of my day, and then I started a bunch of helicopters overhead. Um, when I lived at Echo Park, that was a really common thing, just because it's, you know, police helicopters all the damn time, kind of, you know, near downtown. And now I live in the mountains. Every time I hear that, I automatically associate with the forest fires. Uh, just check Twitter. No uh, alerts, warnings, so I think I'm okay for a few minutes, but uh, it's still a little unnerving. Um, this morning, uh, they arrested a guy down in Anaheim of suspected arson. Uh, so far, no one's related to any of their fires, but there has been an arrest for one particular fire down in Anaheim. Or said uh, detain him. I don't arrest him yet, but they some witness saw him, chase him down. Cops got there, you know. So, but a little gun shy now. I hear hear helicopters, you know, uh, in my neighborhood because generally it's a pretty quiet place. Uh, aside from you know forest fires. Anyways, um, do a little bit of a spring cleaning in December, as you do. And busted out my uh, my paper shredder today. Love my paper shredder. It's my third one the last three years because I destroy them. Um, and went through a gigantic pile of junk mail. I hate junk mail. I didn't open stupid offers. If it's something I know it's not for me, I just I throw it away. But oh, lovely winds kicking back up again. Awesome. Um, yeah, so unless it's like a something obviously like an open for a bill or whatever like that, it's you know it's junk, and I get a lot of stupid credit card offers and all that stuff. So I shred everything, make sure that there's no you know potential for somebody to get my information out there, opening some weird you know lending tree account thing in my name. Uh, but occasionally I miss something, you know, something kind of cool. Well, going through the stack of shit, came across a United Airlines envelope. Um, now I get a pile of these things from Delta, United, and American, but I have a, you know, a, 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 a free flyer program with, and generally it's some stupid thing, you know, saying, Hey, get your, get our credit card, get points or whatever. Um, which is probably why I just want more junk mail. Turns out it's my, uh, my welcome to premier level, premier silver, the hell it is, um, that I signed up for several months ago. Uh, quick little backtrack here, because this is part of the story. Before I went to South America, I found an offer on United site. And it was, if you have stats on any other airline, they'll match it for 90 days. Uh, after that point, if you get X amount of miles, you keep it through the end of the year. Well, I have SAS in America, so I send in my little, uh, my card, my information, all that stuff, you know, photo my, my account with American, and they, you know, gave, they gave me premier status, which got me bumped up in one flight, I think one of those shorter flights, and also got me extra miles of the flight, which is the, the main part. Um, and then I hit my, my little allotted number of miles I had to get. It's like miles of money spent, but we had a flight from back from South America back, so like, you know, got that. But I can never find on United site when my damn thing expired because it was kind of weird. Like at the end of the year, I'm like, well, a lot of them mean like through the end of the next year or was it this calendar year because that's kind of stupid because there's only like two more weeks to go after I think it expired this week um, at the 90 day mark. Turns out uh, that my premier status, which is in this little envelope here, blah, 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 um, is good through. Let's see if I can find the actual note for this. Um, let's see if I can get that to work here. Let's see. And that can work. Probably not. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, <laughs> just realized that uh, I'm going to do a little quick cut off that because I just realized that the uh, you can see my frame flyer number and a bunch of personal information on that card. So that's why I did the quick cut. Um, but yeah, but I've got status through 2019, which is pretty awesome because I'm going to use a lot next year, possibly. Hmm. Yeah, uh, we'll keep that one in the wraps. Um, 
I also got my email offer for status for American to keep my status. I had to pay for it, which is a drag because I didn't fly enough this last year on American to keep my American status for next year. Uh, so I'm have to pay for that. Uh, oh, well, it's handy to have, though. If any of you guys fly a lot, you know that having status is awesome. If only because you have to deal with bag receipts or, you know, I pay for them. Like for me, I, I can turn receipts in, but it's a pain in the ass. I forget, which means I'm always eating $50 charges or, you know, every flight. Um, wow, my I put an angle on today, don't I? Eh, oh, well, it is what it is today. Um, and on top of that, like, you get to get on the plane a little bit earlier, which uh, in this day and age, when everybody trying to bring giant carry-on bags is necessary. Uh, for me, because I also have camera stuff, I can't show it on my seat. I need to have a overhead spin. My, my backpack doesn't get that small. Um, so, yeah. Um, what else? What else? Oh, I'm going to try something a little funky tomorrow. So, uh, give me guys a bit of a warning here. Because um, I have multiple cameras that all shoot video at this point, uh, and decent video or even good, great video. Um, I'm trying to get better at color matching them. Um, so I think tomorrow I'm actually gonna have a couple cameras going. It'll be a little A, a camera, B camera action. And we'll see if we can kind of make them look somewhat similar, like similar color curves, all fun jazz. Um, bit of a challenge for me. And also just wanna try it out, see how it looks, cause I haven't done that yet. So that's gonna be a little, a little excitement editing tomorrow. Um, there was a program I gave a, sh or I tried yet or yesterday, or maybe it was this morning. So actually yesterday I tried a different program um, there was a, uh, Colorista, I think I mentioned that yesterday that I didn't end up using it in the app or on the, the video. Um, I mean, cause I think I need to watch a, an actual tutorial on how to use it. Cause what, what I was doing looked like squat and, um, but it's a pretty powerful color correction program. Well, there's another program I came across that, uh, it's like 3d LUT creator. Um, for those who aren't into video or film or whatever, uh, LUT is a lookup table, which doesn't explain anything either, but basically it's like a color, like, uh, think about Instagram filters. It's a color filter that you throw in your footage. Uh, and a lot of times with this, just make it look normal or, you know, or fantastic or whatever. Um, and it seems like this really, really cool program that could do like some, like the videos are really awesome and powerful, like, and would allow you to use like a color checker passport, which is what I have here. Um, this little bad boy here and you take a photo of this thing and you actually, and it goes through and, and maps all the colors because these are all known values. So it shifts your footage so it looks 100% accurate, you know, to the eye, like I think it's correct. And then you can do that with a couple of the cameras and guess what, all your footage looks the same. Well, that app works like dog shit. Pardon my French. Uh, I tried that out and it was horrible. The footage, it could not look worse. Um, so I'm trying to figure out how to match these cameras because I got a couple shoots coming up where I need to have multiple cameras running. So I think tomorrow I'm gonna try this thing a uh, couple cameras and then maybe maybe try that out, out again maybe more time or just gonna try out the film convert which I have been using and see if the presets work properly to get things looking nice. Anyways, um, yeah, I just ooh, just that thought. I'm, I'm borrowing a camera to take on uh, this shoot I have Tuesday and I just realized I don't think I can edit the photos off of it yet. I'm going to get my hands on an A7R III for the shoot. But I just realized that I don't think Adobe has the... I don't think Adobe's added support to Lightroom yet. Crap. That does me no good. Which means I'm going to have to learn how to use Capture One software <laughs> so I edit these photos after I shoot a camera I don't know very well. That was very dumb. That was very, very dumb. Ah, wow. Glad you guys witnessed me having that moment there. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Whatever. Um, one last little thing. I'm also uh, spent a good portion of the, the, this evening car shopping. Now, I'm not buying a new car for myself or a used car for myself. I have a car. I love my car. It works great. But I am giving my mom a car for Christmas or just in general. No, uh, not necessarily the holiday. I'm just giving her a new car because her car is a death trap to put it mildly the last couple times i drove it it was freaking me the hell out and she's been driving that for a good year past that so um i spent a fair amount of time on craigslist and auto trader and stuff and i think i found a couple 
uh, or at least narrowed my search down to a couple dealerships. Um, I have a whole week to go, so I can't go test or you know can't pair up with test drive stuff till I'm there on uh, next weekend. Um, but I think we might have found a vehicle. But like I say I hate car shopping. I really truly hate it. it is tedious as all hell. Um, especially when you can't like actually see the vehicle. You look at the photos. Who the hell knows? Uh, and on top of that. I need her to drive it, make sure she's comfortable with whatever, you know, whatever we get, because it's not my car. She needs something that she can feel comfortable in. Um, although at this point, I think we're probably looking at the same car I have, because she seemed really like, like that last time I was up. Found it comfortable, easy to get in and out of. You know, my mom's getting up there in years, and you know, kind of want something that she can not have to climb up into or fall down into, because that's shitty both directions. Um, so, anyways, that's, I'm just at throwing it out there. I don't want to tell you guys that, but I am. Um, I'm gonna hop back on Twitter and see if I found how the uh, the helicopters were doing in the neighborhood because that was really unnerving. So once again, I'm really uh, hating this whole fire season. Um, yeah. So um, thank you for stopping by. Tomorrow will be a little funky. We'll have a little bit of multicam action, a little bit of you know, camera one, camera two, uh, Wayne's World reference, and uh, we'll see if we can make them look kind of somewhat similar. And then also I need to learn how to use Capture One because I need to have that working to do edit photos on Tuesday night. Crap, I can't wait to do this myself. Why else way to borrow his camera? Well, that's meal great. And guess what? I can't, I can't edit the files. That's so stupid. Oh well, is what it is. Um, <laughs> I'll just shoot with my A7R2. Although it'd be nice to have the better autofocus, but. Whatever. I don't focus doesn't mean squat if you can't actually get the photos anywhere. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to check Twitter and I'm going to finish watching uh, my favorite movie of all time, Ramp for October, which I found was on Amazon and it hit play a couple minutes ago. So uh, I shall see you all tomorrow. Yeah. Bye.